You have likely seen this making headlines. Fires raging at a record rate in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. Scientists are warning that these fires could severely impact the fight against climate change. So what does that have to do with us in San Antonio and why should you care about what's happening here? Sarah Acosta spoke with a professor at UTSA to help us understand the worldwide impacts of the flames in the rainforest. <laughs> The Amazon is burning. The recent fires broke out in early August. But Brazil's National Space Research Institute says the number of fires in the Amazon this year have reached 57,000. University of Texas San Antonio Associate Professor of Geology says this will impact people worldwide. So about 25% of the world's forests are in the Amazon. Akeley explains that the trees in the Amazon create 20% of the world's oxygen. He also says that the trees in the Amazon take in a large amount of the world's carbon dioxide. He explains not only are the fires giving off a large amount of CO2 into the atmosphere, the fires are also destroying billions of trees that take in a lot of carbon dioxide. He says carbon dioxide doesn't just leave the atmosphere. It's going to be there for uh, millennia, uh, thousands, thousands of years. Akeley says that's a problem. He says when the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increase, it causes the planet to heat up. He says that increase in temperature throws off the balance of how the atmosphere flows. The ramifications are that it changes the whole uh, atmospheric circulation, causes the melting of large ice sheets and uh, many other uh, catastrophic, catastrophic effects of, uh, of climate change. Akeley specializes in sea ice and has studied how it's been melting. He says it's crucial to keep CO2 levels in balance. If nothing is done, we need to brace for the impact in the future. If we don't keep everything in balance, then things like rising sea level will destroy, you know, most of the coastal cities around the United States. Uh, have, uh, you know, a third of Florida will be underwater, all of uh, New Orleans and so forth. The AP reports that the fires were started by people clearing land for agriculture and ranching. Today, Brazil's president said he won't accept a $20 million G7 offer to help fight the fires until President Emmanuel Macron apologizes to him. He says Macron criticized his handling of the crisis. Myra.